Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add this burning paper transition to your videos in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, I have already created a 4K resolution sequence and got two different videos. Firstly, we need some assets to create a burning paper transition. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. You can see we have five different fire burning transition overlays. Also, we have five different matte files for fire burning transitions. Additionally, we have five different carefully curated sound effects to complement each of the burning paper transitions. After that, I'm going to drag and drop the third fire burning transition overlay, matte file, and the sound effect inside the project panel. Now we have to drag and drop the burning paper mat overlay file onto the timeline in video layer 4 at the end position of the first video footage. Now you can see the white mat on the program monitor. Next we have to isolate the mat file with the second video footage. That's why I'm going to move the second video clip to the third track on the timeline and place the video in this position. Next let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a track mat key effect. After that we need to go to the effect controls panel to customize the track mat key effect. Now I am going to select the fourth track as the mat layer because the white matte layer is in the video layer 4. And then, from the composite parameter, let's select the matte luma to use the edges of the matte file. Lastly, we need to enable the reverse option by clicking on this box. Now you can see the second video footage inside the matte file. In the next step, let's move over to the project panel. After that, let's drag and drop the fire burning overlay onto the top video layer. As you can see, the fire burning overlay has some rough edges that need to be addressed. That's why, select the layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Next, find Find the opacity section. From the blend mode parameter, we have to select the screen mode from the list. Now you can see the fire burning overlay has been successfully applied. If you need more strong flames of the fire, you can add this by duplicating the fire burning overlay. All right, now you can see the changes on the program monitor. In the following step, let's move over to the project panel and we need to create a new adjustment layer. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it in video layer 2. And then, let's go over to the effects panel to apply a brightness and contrast effect. Let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect onto the adjustment layer. After that, we need to go to the effect controls panel to customize the brightness and contrast effect. Firstly, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Now we need to create keyframes for the brightness and the contrast parameters by clicking on the stopwatch icons. Next, move the time indicator 43 frames forward. Here, we have to make the brightness parameter value around negative 100. And then, let's make the contrast parameter value around negative 50. Now we can improve the keyframes by right-clicking on the last keyframes and then select Ease In. In the next step, we have to click on the drop-down menu of the brightness parameter to expand the speed graph panel. And then, we have to drag and move the blue handle slightly left side to slow the speed down. Also, repeat the same process for the contrast parameter. All right, now we are done. With these couple of steps, we have created this burning paper transition. Also, you can cut the second video footage at the end of the transition, and then you can move the other part down again. And finally, we need to incorporate the burning paper transition sound effect to enhance the visual transition. All right, in this way, you can make a burning paper transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. 